In this early part of the 21st century, there is no question that we are being flooded with information from many different sources. But unlike the pre-electronic era, the age of the internet makes it easy to access information of great importance to us in our personal and professional lives. Veritable oceans of information are as close as a mouse click away, and many of us, for lack of time, strategically ignore even important sources of internet accessible information simply as a way to survive. But there's good news. And that news comes in the form of RSS readers. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication, and in this series of screencasts, I will be focusing on how you can use RSS readers to manage information on the web. To get started, let's review the usual behavior of people gathering information from websites. Typically when browsing the web, people either use bookmarks or type URLs directly into the address bar of their browser. And once at the website in which they're interested, they'll scan the layout of the web page, looking for articles they would like to read, and in particular, content that's been added since their last visit. For example, I might click on an article I would like to learn more about. Once the page is loaded, I would read or scan the material in my web browser, clicking links to load additional pages as necessary. When I finish with a particular article, I might go back to the top level of the website at which I began browsing and begin the process of searching for new content all over again. This is not a problem if one only has a few websites to keep track of, but most people have a number of websites they routinely use. These websites can include news sites, political blogs, technology websites, pundit blogs, software clearinghouses, personal blogs, professional blogs, software support forms, and web-based services, to name a few. An alternative to choosing between frenzied web surfing and giving up altogether is using an RSS reader which makes the web come to you. In this demonstration installation of Net Newswire, I have a total of 38 blogs, 6 news feeds, and 2 technology websites for a total of 46 web pages. There are a total of 752 new items since I last checked this feed reader. Looking through the layout of 46 web pages for 752 new items would be virtually impossible without an RSS feed reader. Furthermore, because these items are normally buried in the layout of their respective websites, finding which articles are of interest to me would be burdensome. With an RSS feed reader, I can scan vast amounts of information, selectively choosing those items to read which interest me most. I can also easily mark articles for future reference. or save them to a different area entirely. But the most important feature of using an RSS reader is that I can keep up with all my websites by checking one application. Frequently updated websites as well as rarely updated websites are checked all at once, so I never have to remember which sites I have and which sites I haven't visited. My computer does all the work for me. The solution I'll be focus on, focusing on in this webcast is a free of charge application called Net Newswire. And if you point your browser to newsgator.com and click on products, RSS readers, you will see a page with downloads from many different operating systems and devices. There's Feed Demon for Windows, NewsGator for mobile devices like Blackberries and smartphones. But if you download NetNewsWire for Mac, you'll be able to follow along with the rest of the screencast.
go ahead and install your software and join me when you're done.